in four weeks today, I graduate. It'll be my last day of school in four weeks today. I live in student housing, so I can only live here as long as I'm a student. Very soon I won't be. This year, I'm going to be living in a lot of different places, especially in the next, oh, I don't know. Like the whole year, I'll be moving really, really often. I'm just going to be moving a lot this year. And I hate, hate moving. And the reason why is because I just hate like packing up all of my stuff and then moving all of my stuff. I have a really small car. I drive a Volkswagen Beetle and not all of my stuff fits in it. Actually hardly any of it fits in it. In the past when I have moved just using my own car, I will have to take like four or five trips. And I hate I hate, hate, hate that. I want to go through everything I own and get rid of as much of it as I can so that it's really easy to move. Initially, like when I graduate, my parents are going to come and help me move out of this apartment. And then if I have like a box with, I don't know, keepsakes, I think that would be okay to like send back home with them and just not have on my person all of the time. I really want to minimize what, I mean like I, this last summer, I lived with my parents for two months, two and a half months, and in that period I lived out of a carry-on suitcase the whole two months. And that really made me think like, I don't need all of this. And like obviously I was living with my parents, I had access to like furniture and sewing supplies and like all of the stuff that you need, like dishware. Um, but for a part of this next year, I'll be living with family. I'm doing FSY, which is just like a program for the youth of my religion. So in those places, I don't really need things like dishes or I honestly probably won't have my sewing machines for those either so anyways I just I really want to minimize my belongings so it's easy to move this year because it's going to be happening a lot and I don't really know what's going to happen this year so I just need to be ready and prepared for whatever happens. I just have this room and then a cabinet out in the kitchen um, but I want to go through my room today over the weekend and just go through every section and figure out what I want to keep, what is going to be like a regular thing I need, like for clothing maybe, and what sort of stuff or keepsakes that I want but don't necessarily need at hand. At first I'm going to try and sell as much as I can. Like I said, I have four weeks, so I'm just going to, that's why I want to do it now. Um, so I can list stuff on Facebook Marketplace and then maybe people will buy them in the next four weeks. If they don't, I will just end up giving it away to my local thrift store. You may notice above me, my bed is covered in laundry. <laughs> Like a huge, huge, huge pile of laundry. It's all clean. Um, I just hate folding laundry. But I've also been putting it off because I want to go through it while I fold it. And figure out what I want to get rid of. In the last like few days I've started to do that a little bit. But not as much as I'd like to. So I'm going to keep doing that. Because I have a lot of clothes that I just want to get rid of. And... Not because they're bad necessarily, but like I said, I'm just trying to get rid of stuff. I also kind of want this year to be like, when I get established again in an apartment and in a state, and I'm not going to re be regularly moving again, probably like at the end of this year or the start of next year, I kind of just want to have like a fresh slate. And that includes like decor and my wardrobe like I just want a fresh slate 
Anyways, that was like way too much explanation. I'm just gonna start with that pile up there. <laughs> this is what my closet looks like right now because I've been trying to go through it. Over there is like a lot of the stuff I've made and stuff I definitely wanna keep. And then like right there and at the bottom is stuff that I don't want. I've also like separated my shoes a little bit. So like on this side is stuff that I wanna keep and over here is like stuff I'm trying to sell. Um, so yeah, I've kind of gone through it. I have this huge <laughs> pile of laundry. So now I need to go through that. I'm gonna fold it and then whatever I wanna get rid of, I'm literally just gonna <laughs> throw it into that pile and then each section once I complete it I want to go ahead and list it on Facebook marketplace so that I can just get a move on and not have to worry about like listing stuff for hours just doing it like an in increment so let's get started with sorting This pair of jeans I have a love-hate relationship with. They're actually a pair of men's jeans that I uh, thrift flipped so that they're like smaller and like fit my waist, but they're still like baggy in the leg. They're so <laughs> freaking cute, like really, really cute. But when I sit, they are so painful. Like, you know, like, those really hard jeans where they just, like, uh, like, press down on your stomach and, like, squeeze it right in the middle? It's, like, so uncomfortable. These are those jeans, and I almost never wear them because I do a lot of sitting. Like, at school, I go and sit, and then as soon as I get home, I take them off because I can't sit in them anymore. But they're really, really cute. Like, they'd be great for Instagram photos because I look great in them. But they're just, like, not really wearable. So, gonna try and sell these. These are, like, a perfect example of, like, just me holding on to, like, random stuff. Like, like I love them, but I also hate them. So, I'm gonna be getting rid of them. These are an example of exactly what not to give because I wear these oh I just got this sweater I love it it's cashmere and I was thinking it'd be cute with this anyways I wear these multiple times a week sometimes like three or four days in a row like I love them so much and there's something I will always have in my wardrobe like I seriously see myself having these in my wardrobe forever so I will be keeping these and that's what I want to do I want to keep stuff that I grab for and wear all of the time and get rid of the stuff that's like cute but I almost never wear so yeah I threw it down there because that's where my hanging stuff is and then the stuff I'm folding is going here so I'm throwing stuff down there not because I'm getting rid of it but because it's hanging the stuff that I'm getting rid of is being thrown over there so yeah Okay, so I have these drawers, there's three of them. They have a little bit of clothes, like I said. It's been a while since I did laundry, um, but I wanna go through here and just uh, figure out what I'm gonna keep and not keep 
as well um, before I put what I just folded back into here. So yeah, another thing I need to do, there's some pieces that I have that I have made um, and don't wear but don't necessarily want to get rid of yet. Um, just because I feel like some of those pieces, if I sold them right now, would be underappreciated. <laughs> so I am going to hold on to them, but put them in like a keepsake sort of box because I don't necessarily want access to them all the time I just want to keep them so like that would be a box that maybe goes to my parents house or like my grandma's house I don't know um and I don't bring to all of my moves perhaps anyways let's go through all of this Okay, so like I said earlier, this stuff here is all stuff that I'm keeping, uh, this included, but I have stuff here, and <laughs> guys, I'm getting rid of so much clothes, and I'm so happy and excited about it. Anyways, um, all of this is stuff I'm keeping, but like I said earlier, I have made most of what's here, and don't want to get rid of it. Um, but don't necessarily, like, go and grab for it all the time, so I want to put it into, like, a little box. So, yeah, I'm going to go through and just organize it so that I can start taking out the stuff that's going to go into the box, and then, like, leaving the stuff that I go for and grab all the time. So yeah, let's do that. This piece, it's a little jumper set that I made for school. Um, I've worn it a few times. It is really cute, but it's like, I just don't wear it enough where it's necessary. And also like, it's not one that I like patterned. Like I just bought a pattern for this and made it for a class. So I'm not really that attached to it. So this is an item that I'm going to try and sell. Jeez, that was a lot. Guys, these piles are just getting bigger and bigger. I, I love that I'm going into this with the idea of like, getting rid of this stuff is going to make my life so much less stressful because I don't have to worry about hauling all of this freaking clothes around, like all of this clothing would take a whole suitcase, like a whole ginormous suitcase. So I'm really, really glad that I'm just getting rid of it because I think it's really gonna make my life less stressful. I have like three suitcases. They've come in a set. I've had them since I started college. This one's in like kind of rough shape, um, but they like stack together. So I only really... <laughs> Like, I've used them a few times. I really only use them for moving. Um, and occasionally travel. I mean, I use the really small one all the time. But the other two I don't really use that often. So I just have them, like, stacked under my bed. Um, but in the middle one, I keep all of, like, my out-of-season clothes. So right now it's winter. So all of my summer clothes are in here. Does anyone else do that? 
Like, does anyone else move? I do it because <laughs> I move my seasonal clothes because it makes me more excited to get them out later. Like, if I've been staring at them the whole season but wasn't able to wear them, once I get to the season, I'm like kind of bored of them and I'm not excited to wear them and so I put them away so I get excited to wear them again. But I gotta go through here like this I already know needs to be gone and there's just like a few other things like that in here and that's the rest of my clothes. After going through this that will be all of my clothes. So yeah, let's go ahead and do it. I mean, I am I'm going to do what I've been doing with all of the other stuff. Going through all of it, um, figuring out what I don't want to keep and throwing it over there. Stuff that I've made but probably won't wear in a while, I've put in a pile. Um, <coughs> and then whatever I keep that's still summery and I'm going to wear this summer, I'm going to put back in here. I don't know why my throat is like dying. I haven't even talked that much today. Um, I forgot I also have a pile with just like trash cl clothes, like stuff that I've like worn to the point where they're just like disgusting and need to be gotten rid of. That pile is pretty small but it's in another corner. <laughs> I'm just gonna like put that in a trash bag and throw it away. Okay, so here's what I have. Um, on this bed, I've laid out, like, I took pictures of all of this. This is everything I'm getting rid of. And I created, like, nine listings from these. There's, like, piles with each listing. So there's that. I'm just going to leave those there probably for the next few weeks or until they sell. Um, this is the pile I have of, like, handmade stuff that I want to keep but probably I'm not going to wear in a really long time and I don't really need out to take like pictures. A lot of it is like stuff from my pattern making. Um, some of it's just some old stuff I've made and don't want to get rid of. So both of these boxes are fabric and since I'll be moving a lot in the next few months I'm guessing the next time I'll be able to like sew isn't until, I mean like there's a few fabric pieces that I'm going to keep but after the semester ends I'm probably not going to be able to sew a whole lot until probably like August and so I'm just going to go through these and like empty as much fabric as I can and again I'm gonna try and sell it and whatever doesn't sell I'll give away. Um, I need to throw away some stuff too so yeah gonna go through all of that and uh, it's like almost 10 p.m. right now I'd like to be able to go through all of that fabric and at least like figure out what I'm keeping and what I'm getting rid of and what needs to be thrown away and then using one of those boxes, an empty one, to put all of that stuff into. And then like listing fabric like tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I feel like really productive right now. I got home from school at like 7 and I've like accomplished a lot in just a few hours. So I'm going to go through those really quick and then I'll probably see you guys tomorrow. Um, so I'm actually a little sick. I think last night in what I filmed I said my throat really hurts and I'm not even talk I haven't even talked that much today I don't know why my throat is like dying I haven't even talked that much today well now I'm kind of sick and it's not like it's not bad my throat hurts a lot um but that's like mostly the only symptom I have feel kind of like uh, just a little gross and, and like tired 
I actually, I usually, for my job, I work 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. typically. But I took this weekend off because I've been falling behind on stuff I need to do. Like, I've been really wanting to go through all of my belongings and, like, get rid of a lot of stuff. And then I also have fallen behind on some homework, so... And I also have, like, an exam this weekend. Anyways, I took this weekend off because I wanted to use that time to catch up. But it turns out I really needed to take it off because I was going to get sick and need that extra rest instead of waking up at 6 a.m. every day. Um, anyways, it's like not that bad. I'm just, <coughs> I'm just trying to like combat it so that it doesn't get worse. Like I got some vitamin C, um, chewables, some tea to soothe my throat. And I'm just going to try and get a lot of rest this weekend because I really, really don't want to get too sick. I was talking to my mom and about how I was sick and she was like, well, try to get rest, which I know is hard for you, which is true. Like, when I, like, work at 6 a.m., luckily I'm not doing that right now, but I also, like, I'm always doing stuff like even though I'm resting I'm going to be going through everything I own and trying to get rid of it um, I do have a few meetings set up to potential buyers like some shoes and that box of fabric um, some other things have been asked about, but no one has set anything up yet. I'm not, like, in a really big rush to sell everything. I just, um, I just want to at least get it posted. Um, to have the highest chance of selling stuff. So I did like the big part. The big part was going through my clothing and my fabric. That was also like the easiest part I think though because now I need to go through everything else which is just kind of hard because it's not like in one place like it's on the shelves and it's in a box under my bed and on my desk and in my closet. It's like um, yeah. I have, like, old makeup and, like, I don't know, beauty products that I just, like, hold on to but, like, don't want to anymore. So, really want to minimalize that. That goes, like, for nails, too. I just have, like, a lot of that sort of thing. But I don't really want to hold on to it anymore. Previously, when I have moved before, I, so I have, like, three boxes and then those three suitcases and anything that can't fit into those ends up like in laundry baskets and random boxes sometimes just bags um I don't want it to be like that I want all of my belongings to be able to fit into like boxes and suitcases like just those boxes and suitcases so they're super super easy to move I'm kind of procrastinating just because I don't feel great but I also know like the sooner this stuff is gone the better I'm gonna be <laughs> the better I'm going to feel about moving um I already feel like really accomplished with what I have done and I'm really proud of myself for doing that that is kind of in a fog it's kind of funny I feel like my style has changed a lot since last year. Like, I was looking at everything that I had made for my patterns and for my Etsy shop last year, and everything is so colorful in that box that I put. Um, and then I'm looking at what's hanging in my closet currently, and it's pretty boring. <laughs> like, it's a lot of uh, blacks and gray and like just neutral colors 
Okay, I'm gonna start on these shelves, I think. So, um, it's a little bit later. I actually was able to sell two things today. Um, and I have some meetups lined up for tomorrow. The next thing I want to work on is what, what is underneath my beds. I kind of already went through, um, a lot of it yesterday because I've been through these boxes and through that, um, I have two of these dressers. That one over there is the one with clothes. So I've been through that one. And I've also been through my suitcase. <coughs> so, um, I need to go through these ones. Which these have, like, it's pretty dirty. <laughs> this has, like, beauty stuff. This one is electronics and school supplies and this is like health sort of stuff um they're all in disarray <laughs> and pretty gross but i'm honestly excited to go through them because i know that i'm gonna have so much to throw away um because i'm at the phase where i'm like even if it has a little bit i'm not gonna hold on to it because it's just more stuff to move around so i'm just gonna get rid of it um so, especially if I don't use it every day, um, I need to go get a bag so I can have some to, something to throw stuff away in because everything here, I most likely will not be selling anything from it in this, just throwing stuff away. And then I have like a long board back there and some bedding stuff and my big box that is going <laughs> to... That one's going to be tough to go through, um, but I'll figure it out. So that's the next step. And then I just have my closets and then the kitchen, which I actually think I'm going to wait to do the kitchen until I'm actually moving because I need all of it right now. Um, but once I'm graduated and I move, I won't need it. So, yeah, I'm just going to... I honestly, I don't know if I'm going to film much more right now. I think I'm just going to go through as much of it as I can before it gets too dark. And then um, just give you guys an update at the end on how it's looking and if I think I accomplished my goal. So actually it's a whole week later <laughs> because I got super super sick and I wasn't able to finish the video. I really really feel like we made lots of progress though. I feel really good about it and um you know since this week has passed I haven't really sold hardly anything and you know I'm okay with that. Um if a few things sell nice if not, I'm okay with it because this was still, like, super worth it to go through all of my stuff and just figure out what I should keep, what I don't need to keep. Um, and I just feel really good about moving now, and I feel like I'm not going to be stressed about moving. And like I said, whatever doesn't sell, I'm just going to give away, and... That's okay with me. So, I would definitely say that it was a success. 
And I also think that I will be able to fit what I am keeping into my three suitcases and my three boxes. I think I can definitely make that happen. The only things that would be outside of that is probably like my sewing machines and maybe a backpack. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy about that. I just feel really, really good about what I did this week and going through everything. Today especially, the weather is so nice. The sun is finally coming out and the snow is finally starting to melt. Not all the way, but it's getting there. And like for the first time I feel like I'm seeing people come out into the outside world and they're walking around and like having fun. And it feels like spring is on its way here. And what other better way to celebrate spring than go and do some spring cleaning? So it's really boosted my mood. I feel really good about graduating and moving. And I think it was a really wise decision. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was probably a little bit chaotic. Um, just following along. And I'm still a tiny bit sick. I'm, I am feeling a lot better. But I'm still a little bit sick. Um, and so feel like that kind of affected how this video went down. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a like and maybe subscribe to my channel. I would love to be able to share more content with you guys. And I will see you next week.